Hey, we're good sliding, show, everybody. We're sliding that funky boop, whistle. Boop, 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 boop. I hope okay. nobody running for Congress shows up and mocks our convention. Yeah. Uh, you know but you are. <laughs> By the way, uh, uh, yeah. lost in all the all the the, the world's uh, greatest con conversation, the season finale is available on podcast right now. Uh, so everybody go check that out. Uh, the uh, Q and A episode is still to come. We got some surprises in the next few weeks for you, but the uh, the, the five episodes that we worked uh, super hard on. Are out. What are your What are your feelings now that everybody has heard what we've what we've worked on for? Uh, well, per per our our um, uh, 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 my job is just beginning <laughs> as as chief executive promoter. So so it's a bit like uh, saying, well, you're you've just started a very long marathon. <laughs> How are you feeling? And I'm like, I feel like there's How's many first mile? there are many miles to go. <laughs> but yes, uh, uh, but I am very excited to be running the marathon. Okay, <laughs> it's 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 just it's so I mean, it's so believable I mean, I don't too. Know you can talk about the shows and make them exciting for people to listen to. Like I, mean, I know, I mean, if, if you if, if, you, if, if your thing is to promote, I'm asking you to promote, dude. Uh, 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 and I, you're like, ah, fuck, I'm promoting. Uh, well, sorry, I, I made the mistake of forgetting that this was a promotion, and I actually heard the question. How do I feel? <laughs> <laughs> and how I feel is scared, intimidated, and like there's a lot less work to do. But the product is absolutely incredible. I am unbelievably proud of it. Uh, that is one thing that has been so much fun is I've never sold crack before, but now I know what it's like because all I have to do is get somebody to just just taste a little bit of it. Like, uh, yeah. and 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 that's part of what made Teller's tweet so exciting was that he uh, uh, encouraged right, people to start at the beginning. Because, oh. yeah, uh, uh, like, I mean, there, there's just no way you can listen to the first episode and a half. And, I mean, if you're out then, by all means, get the fuck off this plane, you know? it's uh, yeah. uh, But nobody does. Uh, in fact, even when we uh, posted the, the YouTube video, um, uh, when I sent out an email, I made it very clear. I was like, hey, we worked for a month on these visuals. Can you just give it two minutes? And the number one response on the emails was, uh, damn it, I'm 20 minutes in now. And I'm like, ha ha, I sell crack now. Yeah. It's really great. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he's okay with Nazis and he sells crack. <laughs> and he loves crack. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm really excited that people dig it. Uh, uh, we've gotten, you know, uh, overwhelmingly uh, uh, super great feedback. So, uh, uh, and, and it's, it's, it's glad to see that we were able to land the plane of doing an episode or season all about game shows because like the stuff that we have planned going forward the stakes are 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 higher. only getting higher yeah so it's like, like we wanted to do the highest stakes possible the most fun lowest stakes by and large possible but uh, i think we hopefully did a lot of exploration of the small moments of like small scale greed and pride and expectation and everything like that and now everything in the middle is open to us and we've got some great fucking targets uh by the way uh, where should people send in their questions for the q a episode uh world's greatest con at gmail.com is where you go for that and uh we've already got uh, a few really really great ones but uh please if you have any thoughts any questions uh, uh, that uh came even along? if you don't have a question but just say that this moment really resonated or whatever like like all, all we need is feedback noise to play with so that we can um uh so that we can uh have a, an interesting conversation about yeah. this season oh and by the way because that has to happen yeah, immediately uh, uh, corrections <laughs> too like like I, I i have a few in there that are like just because i know people are completionists and whenever you're doing history you're not always able to get everything if there's something that uh, somebody actually sent uh, W Scottus One, who is uh, often in in our chat, uh, pointed out to us that the showcase showdown and the showcase of Price is Right are two different things. Yeah, right. Showcase it, showdown is the, the wheel. The wheel. The showcase is the guessing the prices at the very end. Do, now, is is that something that only people in uh, uh, not to I'm imagining you know fan communities or person to person like I don't remember them ever explaining that difference pedantically on the show. Well, I, they're two different segments though. Well, they are they are two different segments, but yes, 
Uh, and, and they probably are one, consistent. But they both play have one to get to the other in one. them. And That's so I just kind of assumed yeah, that I, it was I, like, I did too. It was Showcase Showdown. And then when you got to the final one, you're like, I don't know. We're here now, man. We could just call it Showcase. Like, yeah. I just thought it was I, a, I never a, a, noticed a, a, the, the difference between the two. Did, did anybody? I, it sounds like you did. I mean, it, once you said it, I'm like, oh, yeah. They, 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 those are two different things. Uh, I guess, yeah. No, it, it, it went past both of us. Bryce did. Uh, uh, I mean, I've watched the show so i'm aware that they're discrete segments i but, guess but, i don't think about them in terms of names or i guess i would think of them uh i don't know i would think of the guessing the numbers guessing as being the showcase showdown that's yes. that's and so, exactly where we were as yeah. well yeah. Yeah. And, yeah and i think but specifically with that episode which is about super fans of uh, uh price is right and things that didn't make it into that finale is the fact that Terry Nice, the guy who made that final, that made the, the perfect bid, is obviously very animated by the fact that there is a huge, rabid Price is Right fandom online that he felt was disrespecting him. And that's why he wrote that book, because he wanted to correct the record, and he makes oblique references to them. <laughs> Which, by, by the way, all of it. Uh, uh, our voice on World's Greatest Con tries to not be directly confrontational, except for... You know, to say like uh, well, the well, Ingram it, suck at code. It, well, except for to say <laughs> if 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 they did it, you know, if, if yeah. I did it, it would look like this. Um, uh, like that. That's maybe the hottest take is if this was a code, it was a very very bad code for these yeah. reasons. And that's right? in, and that's in the millionaire episode. Correct. Yeah. Uh, but but do we? Uh, would it be? I feel like it would be out of voice for that podcast for us to talk, especially specifically shit talk the quality of <laughs> the book. No, no, no. I mean, look, it, it, it's, it's a, a weird it, book, guys. It, 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 it's it is very, it is, it is a no published book. Uh, ah. And he is, he's an odd duck, Terry Nice. He is an odd duck. He's, uh, 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 all I'll say is this. There was a point in which you're, you're, I was reading it <laughs> and I was taking pictures and I was sending them to Brian. So you were experiencing it only in photos that I was sending to you. Uh, here's a new character that I just gave up with. Oh, guy who's very excited about Terry Nice's perfect bid and very <laughs> curious about it, who goes to Barnes and Noble and buys a copy of Terry Nice's book, The Perfect Bid. Yeah. Page one. When I made the perfect bid, it was crazy. Oh, this is great. This is great. Anyway, the price is right. It's great. Oh, this is very good. I was a weatherman. Oh, this is oh, so right. good. And because I'm a weatherman, I can tell you climate change is bullshit. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it comes out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Like climate change. Like, I know. It's like. Uh, uh, yeah. It's just. It's <laughs> randomly. It's randomly late in the book where, like, he writes. He, I, I will say this for Terry Nice. He has a very conversational writing style. You very much always feel like you were there with him in the room. And it even plays out in shit where he's like, anyway, apropos of nothing, climate change isn't real. And I know this because the man who ran the weather channel says it's not real. Uh, but anyway, I know you're not here to hear my opinions about climate change. Let's get back to the price is right. Yes. So I'm in line at the price is right. And I've got my wife with me. We're chatting it up. And let me tell you, I saw a girl with a pair so big it made me think twice about my wife. What? Wait, what? He wrote that? You usually a don't literal, write that No, down. no, no. This is a literal thing. In Terry wow. He, he wow. says... He's like, like, uh, 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 my wife came up to me and said, look at, I'm going to get the name wrong. Brenda, uh, 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 Brenda was a very young, attractive woman with a very ample bosom. Uh, and my wife said, I think she's my competition in terms of getting on the show. And I said, and how, because if I were a producer, I would have Brenda run down from the back row. In fact, God. I might find a reason to send her back and have her run down a few more uh, times. Uh, Jiminy. Because she's got very large breasts. <laughs> I, I'd like to just uh, a, a caution you. You're sounding a little bit more like Heaton every time you continue with this. <laughs> Uh, I'm Andrew Heath, and I, <laughs> I uh, like Brenda was bosom. next to me in line. Yes. 
Uh, so anyway, those are things we won't be saying. No, we will not say that. Look, uh, 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 Terry Nice, uh, amazing, amazing that he wrote that book. It was great for the show. I love, I, I, think, I love this country. Uh, he's the only <laughs> reason why I have uh, uh, my voice is ever and will ever be on World's Greatest Con because I I did the the Terry Nice substitute voice. Uh, but uh, uh, no, he it was it was amazing that he did it, but. He's he's a unique character. He's a character. I think he would say he's a unique character. Yes. I think anyone reading the book would agree. I think anyone taking pictures of fucking how <laughs> gobsmacked you were fucking reading the book and sending it <laughs> to your friend would fucking know. So this book is James fucking is bananas. Like, oh. It's it was a uh, it, it was great. I wish we, but that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not going to be in, that's not going to be in, in, in the final episode in, in, in episode six. Although shit, we can't even say what we have. What, what I know the secret thing is. There, there, there's a, there's, there, there's a secret. Uh, uh, if, if you love the podcast so much they that when you get it. to a question and answer episode sure, and you listen and you're like, I'm really thrilled to hear more of this voice, even though they're not telling a specific story, there may be an opportunity for us to do a one-off in the same vein. Mm -hmm. did, did I did I do it? Did I, I did so. I dance around the landmines? I, I think that also uh specifically if you really, really, really like Teller, like love season one. Season one. Yeah. Like Teller. Be I like do. Teller. I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if you loved I, season one. I feel like this is the moment. This is the moment. Uh Brett, what are you up to? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh I'm gonna be watching <laughs> What was that? No, what was did that? Did that. What was this? What is this? Oh, oh that's my new dance. <laughs> this is, oh. It's called it's called it's called the uh, 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 touch your ribs heart dance. Uh, uh, your man Jeff in the chat says a uh, Captain Morgan, Morgan podcast. <laughs> I'm doing it. That was World's actually... greatest can you fucking cunts? I'm doing it. <laughs> that was the... I remember the world's greatest can. It was me. I was rolling down Crenshaw with my homies when I said, "Hey, who wants to go to a convenience store?" And they said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna make one." And I I said, what the fuck, Sam Walton? <laughs> Next thing you know, we're at Walmart, and I'm pissing in the cereal aisle. That's the very first thing you did, Captain? <laughs> so, hey, hey, could you imagine if we just dropped the existing Captain Morgan episode <laughs> into the oh feed, <laughs> and it just says, uh, an interview with Captain Morgan, yeah, no, no. and it just goes, it's oh, oh, 0206. <laughs> The captain. <laughs> this may be the weirdest My name reference. Doctor Doug Swimhoff. This may be the weirdest reference ever, but your Captain Morgan, uh, Morgan reminds me of Bob Evans. No, uh, uh, wait, wait, Robert the, the, the breakfast. Robert Robert oh, Robert, no, oh, the producer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The producer. Yeah. Let me tell you. <laughs> Allie McGraw, did you have a pair that would make you stare? You bet. Did I get my hand up there? You, you know, know it. <laughs> did I live to regret it? Well, you tell me. Can a man really live when he's been hollowed out, both his heart and his bank account? So I'm on my boat. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Mortgage. <laughs> Captain Morgan? <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, like that was it. right there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, are we going to pick oh, titles? Wait, I'm Captain we... Morgan. The rates are going up. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Captain Morty. Captain Morty. Gee, Rick. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to, geez. No, oh, Rick, why are you doing it? I don't even know. Uh, hi, sorry, it's me. Uh, uh, I, 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 I write the episodes, and I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> your, your impression of Dan Harmon is only stuttering. <laughs> and also, it's amazing. Just amazing. No, it's so good. Stop it. Never do it. That's it. Fucking put it in glass. It goes to the loo. Yes. Immediately. It's so good. The British have already stolen it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, good. Okay. Hey, uh, uh, we're done. Yeah, yeah. We're done. We're calling it. Right. We love you guys. The show is over. Uh, uh, we love you guys. Uh, uh, if you're coming in for Founders Day, then uh, 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 God bless you. If you're not, then we'll we. Then we'll God still bless you. you anyway. And, yeah. and uh, hey, if you're listening to this and you are coming to the Founders Day event, uh, uh, get 
get your don't get brodied stories ready now. Oh, we're yes. telling you now that we will do. Yeah, fuck. Okay, fuck. We will be doing don't get brodied. We, you should please bring a good entertaining story. Uh, if you've never seen it before, it's a it's a storytelling contest, and you try to tell a good story as long as you can. So, uh, uh, letting you know now, come up with a good story. It's Make back. sure they're actually good. It's back. It's back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For the first time in three back. years, don't get brodied is motherfucking back. All right, we love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.